So we're gonna head across the bridge here and over to our academic side of campus. And then as you can see through some of the areas down here, there's some trails that go in and around campus, but by far the best place to go is try and preach State Park, which is literally just up the road from us. Now students can walk out themselves if they can take their car. Now a little bit about transportation is first year students cannot have their own car here on campus, but there are plenty of other options for students, such as public transportation that runs through here, but also the Pioneer Express, which is our shuttle system, runs straight downtown about every half hour to 45 minutes, completing about a loop to get back here on campus. We'll also stop at Fred Meyer as well. Our local grocery store here for students to pick up groceries, get anything they might need for dinner, things like that. And then it runs pretty late as well. On Sunday through Thursdays, it goes till about 10 p.m. And then on Friday and Saturday nights, it runs about two in the morning. So now we're walking toward the estate gardens. This is a great place for a lot of students to hang out when it's sunny or it has pretty good weather. So if you hang out up there, um, right now we can see the great lawn um, where you can see students are already kind of picnicking. People around the neighborhood will come over and walk their dogs. Um, during the first couple weeks of school, we have the Pio Fair, so all the student organizations, whether it's student unions or just clubs like Italian Club or Cheese Club, will set up all their tables around here and do whatever they can to entice you to join their club and get on their email list. Um, they have candies and food and such just so you can, you know, come over to their table and it gives everyone a good look of what is going on on campus. We also have a pool that's open during the summer months and down there is our rose garden and also our grape vineyard. Uh, so this is the Hoffman Art Gallery. Um, often students who are working on their thesis projects can put up their art in here to showcase to the public. Sometimes we'll also have like traveling artists who come in here to use this facility. There will generally be a big sign that says open and it's open to all students. It's totally free. You can just pop in there and look at all the cool art. Um, and then we also have our field center for the visual arts over here. So we do have a general education requirement of four credits or one class of art. And that could take the form of a visual art, like drawing, painting, photography, all of which we offer. Or it could be like choir, orchestra, band. I know one of my friends is using like a poetry class for their art credit, um, but it's usually pretty easy to get that art credit out of the way if you are not really willing to take art, but we have a ton of cool classes. <laughs>